Hey fam, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing part one of practice questions and balancing equations. For this you'll need some paper, a pen or a pencil and an open mind. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Good luck guys. Okay, so when balancing equations, the end goal is to have the same number of atoms of each element on either side of the arrow. So the first thing you want to do is count how many atoms of each element you have on each side. So for this, I'm going to switch to my whiteboard so we can work on this together. So first draw a straight line like so on either side. This is just to separate the number from the element name. So we don't get confused, is that an O, is that a zero? Just draw the line, it's easier. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill out how many atoms of each element we have on either side. So I've got one iron atom on the reactant side. By the way, iron is Fe, oxygen is O2, just so we're clear. So I've got one iron atom on the reactant side, two on the product side, I've got two oxygen atoms on the reactant side and three oxygen atoms on the product side. So this is clearly not a balanced equation. So we've got to do something about it. But before we do, we're just gonna go over some ground rules. So rule one, you can't change any of the subscript numbers. And rule two, you can only use whole numbers in front of elements or compounds. All right, so let's get to work. Because my mind works quite simplistically, I like to look for anything I can double to make the size equal. So I'm looking at this now, I can double the iron on the left to make it equal to the iron on the right. And that changes it so that I have two iron atoms on the left and two iron atoms on the right. So our iron is balanced now. But the oxygen isn't quite balanced and my rule of doubling doesn't really work. But I'm going to show you guys a handy trick I use whenever I feel like I'm stuck. So I'm going to multiply the oxygen on the left by the number in the subscript on the right. You're probably thinking, what did you just say? Watch the screen. So I'm going to multiply the oxygen on the reactant side by 3, which is the number in the subscript next to the oxygen on the product side. And so that changes it so that I have 6 oxygen atoms on the reactant side. And now I can use my doubling rule, right? So I'm going to double the reactant side. Now note, I can't just double the oxygen. I have to double everything that's in the compound with oxygen. So that means that I have 4 iron atoms on the right and six oxygen atoms on the right. So now my oxygen's balanced, but my iron is not. Again, this is a simple thing. I can double the two I already have, so change that to four, and that means that I have four iron atoms on the right and four iron atoms on the left. And that's it, we're all balanced. I'm just gonna show you guys a cleaner version and give you a couple of seconds to go through the answer. So on to question two, I'll give you a couple of seconds to read through the question and possibly start working on it. Okay, so again, I'm gonna to switch to my whiteboard And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw those lines that I love drawing. I even got a ruler out to do this. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and fill out how many atoms of each element we have on either side. I've color coded this so it's really easy for you to see. But um, if you ever come across compounds and you're not sure how you would break up the compound into individual elements, just break it at the small letters. So anything that starts with a capital letter is an... Is an element so n would be an element but it's got a small letter a next to it so n a is the element capital o is an element capital h is an element um i guess n a is the only example here so a for example would not be an element because it's in small letters so you know that it's attached to the n so it's n a don't get confused i know it's easy in exams to kind of get a bit flustered and start making up elements but don't do that but that's why you're on this channel so you know what to do at exams Okay, 
Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled all of that out, and I'm thinking to myself, what can I double? So, um, sodium looks like a good one. I'm just starting from the top, right? So if I double the sodium on the left side, remember I can't just double just sodium, I have to double everything that comes with sodium, um, I can get my sodium atoms to equal out. So that means that I now have two sodium atoms, five oxygen atoms. Remember, it's two plus three for the oxygen. I have four hydrogen atoms. Again, remember, it's two plus two. You've got two hydrogens in the NaOH and you've got two hydrogens in the H2CO3. And I've got one carbon atom. Now, just going through, my sodium is balanced. Oxygen is not. Hydrogen is not. Carbon is balanced. So again, I'm thinking, what can I double? Look at that. Hydrogen. Yep, you guessed that right. So I'm going to double the hydrogen on the right side this time so that it can be equal to the hydrogen on the left side. So again, you can't just double the hydrogen. You have to double everything that comes with it. So once I do that, um, I recalculate how many of each atom I have on, on the right side. So I have two sodium atoms, five oxygen atoms. Remember that is three plus two. And I have four hydrogen atoms and one carbon atom. So I'm just going to go through from top to bottom. I've got two sodium on either side, five oxygen on either side, four hydrogen on either side, one carbon on either side. And that's it. We're balanced. I think this one was a lot easier than the first example I gave. What do you guys think? Okay, and I've cleaned that all up for you. And finally, question three. I'm going to give you a few seconds to read through that. Okay guys, so look out for the answers to question three on part two of this video. Remember this is 10 minute chemistry and there's absolutely no reason why this video should be longer than 10 minutes. So look out for part two. But thanks for watching, consider subscribing to our channel and until next time, stay safe guys.